Hi, I'm Devin Alexander, New York Times bestselling author and chef from NBC's Biggest Loser. People are always surprised when they learn that I've kept 70 pounds off and don't count calories. Honestly, I haven't counted calories in over a decade and I don't need to because I become educated on food groups and individual foods and then I pair them together in a way that makes it so easy and you can do it too. So at every meal, it's super simple. All you do is eat some lean protein, some carbs, and as many vegetables as you want. And then of course there's room for snacks. I'll show you how. So here I have shrimp, salmon, chicken, and some eggs, all of which of course are protein. If it's a really lean protein, then I eat about four ounces like a lean steak or a lean chicken. If I'm eating seafood, you can eat as much as six ounces. So that's about 100 to 150 calories without even thinking about it. Now, when it comes to carbs, this is where people get in trouble. You're sitting in the restaurant and they serve bread and you have a piece and then you have some wine and maybe a little more wine and a little more bread and then you get your entree and there's rice or pasta and then there's cake and dessert and blueberries or fruit plate. You only want to have one of those things. I know that's kind of the bad news in this. However, once you get used to it, it actually works out really well, especially because I really think that if 80% of the time you eat this way and 20% you cheat and have that bread and the wine or have the bread and the cake, whichever ones matter most to you, but it gets you really conscious of not obsessing all day long, counting calories and really focusing on, on what you most enjoy. So four carbs. Sometimes I can be really helped because the goal here is also to have about 100 to 150 calories per meal in a carb. So that can be like a cup of pasta, a half cup of rice. It can be this amazing keto bread that has only 25 calories per slice. So because that's not 100 calories and you know in your mind, oh, that's less than your 100 to 150, then you can add some fat into your sandwich, maybe some mayonnaise, maybe some avocado. You can save those calories for a category I'm gonna get to in a bit. Now the cool thing about this system is that you never get hungry because you can eat as many vegetables as you want. Obviously, you don't wanna eat a ton of starchy ones, but as many greens and other vegetables as your heart desires. Next, we go on to one of my favorite categories as a chef, the flavoring. You can add sauces and condiments, but with those, again, you wanna look at labels one time to really get a sense of how many calories you're adding. And if you add 50 to 100 to even 150 per meal, it's really not a big deal. But this is where your cheeses come in. I always buy reduced fat. Something like lemons or garlic, you can obviously use to your heart's content. And then even things like center cut bacon do have a place in my diet. Only 30 calories per slice, and you know can add so much flavor when you're using real bacon, but it's center cut, so it's leaner. And then sometimes I use things like Silk's unsweetened almond milk to make my food even better. A whole cup is only 30 calories. You can also use lemons and limes, which obviously flavor for almost no calories. And then amazing seasonings, like I always have a garlic blend and a Mexican seasoning in my kitchen because I absolutely love them. So as you can see, it can be super easy, especially once you get used to it, to sculpt your meals so that you have one protein, one carb, as many vegetables as you want and then just be selective with your condiments. The other really important thing is that you always drink plenty of water. I literally carry water everywhere I go and I love this Glosso Smart Water.